Flat screens are the norm these days, aren't they? Not this old thing here. The chances are, though, most of us have got one of them, tucked away somewhere, gathering dust, waiting to be recycled. The problem, though, is the glass. There's a lot of lead in it. And it's not easy to reuse. But this major recycling problem has now been solved thanks to one of the world's leading recyclers of electrical goods. And that firm is Sweet Kosakowski. Sweep Kosakowski is the first wee processing company in the world to perfect a commercially viable and clean process that produces lead from cathode ray tubes. For Managing Director Patrick Watts, the official opening ceremony was a proud moment. We recycle municipal electronic waste, data bearing assets and sensitive IPR related electrical equipment. And we have built a reputation within the industry that sets us apart. Sweet Kosakowski's special guest for the official opening was the Government Minister for Business and Enterprise. I'm very proud to have been here today to open this new world-beating facility. This is the green economy in action and it's a company here in Kent, Sweet Kosakowski, that's actually leading the way in taking those old television screens, those old computer screens, taking the lead and the nasty stuff out of them and recycling them on into something that's quite harmless. The furnace technology is literally a world first. During our opening event, we've had people from Australia, Finland, China, America, uh, Sri Lanka, all coming to see our technology because they, they realise nobody else has got a solution. We're literally standing at a world first behind me. Here's the size of the waste problem. In the UK, there's an estimated 60 million out-of-date CRT televisions and 40 million computer monitors. Across the world, there's a combined total of around 2 billion. Experts believe around 200 million of these obsolete leaded glass screens will enter the waste stream every year. That's a lot of recycling in the pipeline. We take apart the TVs quite manually. Our staff literally strip them down so that we separate the plastic and the circuit board and the cable away from the glass itself. We then separate the leaded glass from the unleaded glass using our X-ray plant here that can tell the difference and then create a sand. It's vacuumed up and then spread across the top of our furnace and the, the furnace melts from underneath at 1,200 degrees. Everything is happening underneath the bed of cool glass. The chemical bond breaks between the lead and the glass and the lead is so heavy that it sinks to the bottom of the furnace and comes out the bottom of the furnace. The liquid glass just comes out the front and we're dropping it into a bed of water at the moment which turns it back into aggregate. We put 10 tonnes of glass in the furnace and that melts creating 2 tonnes of pure lead and 8 tonnes of clean glass. The pure lead itself is literally tradable and linked to the London Metal Exchange as a, 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 a very valuable commodity. This is definitely a great occasion because uh, we are seeing something uh, new created which is extracting the lead from a glass. This is unique, this has not been done elsewhere and, and it's, it's great to be part of it. Finally, we have a new technology that can deal with these things, can take the harmful bits out, extract all the lead and turn them into aggregates. This is a, a process I think is going to be copied around the world. Sweet Kuzakowski uh, represents the green values that are important today. We are responsible recycler. We make sure that everything we do is transparent and, and, and at the same time, we are ahead of the legislation. So we do more than is actually required. And our values are based on uh, sustainability and we are looking to the future and, and we want to actually give our children and grandchildren a brighter future in the, uh, uh, in the coming years. For centuries, alchemists strove to turn lead into gold but with a growing need to preserve precious resources, the development of a furnace to recover lead from an abundant and hazardous waste stream is just the new kind of alchemy that the 21st century needs. I think the most important part of, of finding Sweep Kuzakoski is that they have a leader who, who is a visionary and most of all he has values we Finnish appreciate most. So warm congratulations to Sweep Kusakoski for this new facility and I hope, I trust that, that, that this will be 
something that can be multiplied elsewhere and it will really become a sort of sweeping success also uh, beyond the borders of, of Kent. It was an honour to have the ambassador here, um, Michael Fallon. Uh, fantastic for me to be able to speak to people like Michael Fallon, who is in charge of the WE regulations under his position in the government. And it was great to hear his encouraging words about the recycling industry as a whole. There is then a critical need to find new ways of protecting our environment by the better recycling of our waste streams. And Sweet Kusakowski is leading the way. I have much pleasure in officially declaring this new facility officially open. Thank you.